Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how-to style, and now it incorporates natural hair care. So if you're interested in any of those things, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So as by today's title, you can see that we are going to be discussing natural ways to reduce hair fall or what you would consider hair shedding. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so there are a couple of things that I do want to go over before I actually give you the five natural remedies for hair shedding. The very first thing is I want to address hair shedding and then ha actual hair loss. So as far as hair shedding is concerned, if you don't know, the average person sheds anywhere from 50 to 100 hairs a day. That is what we would consider normal. So if you are doing more than that, that would be considered excessive shedding. Hair loss is when your hair actually stops growing. There is something that is preventing your hair from literally growing. Which will bring me to my next point. With either one, I would suggest you see a doctor. I would actually suggest that you see two. The first one, of course, is going to be a dermatologist and they'll be able to determine or they'll be able to look at your condition as far as something for an example as ringworm they'll be able to do like scalp infections and inflammations the second doctor that i would or that i would tell you to go see would actually be an endocrinologist because they can actually look at your hormones and they can be able to assess it from that side so you can see two of them or if you don't want to go to a medical doctor or if you don't want any like chemical type treatments like i said i do have the five remedies for you. The next thing that I want to address is pregnancy. Although I do not have any biological children, I'm not able to attest to that, but just based off of what I'm reading, um, when you are pregnant, your hair is going to be growing faster than normal because you're going to be taking all types of vitamins, biotin, and all of that. Probably about two months after pregnancy, you're going to start to notice hair shedding, hair fall, or a little bit of excess, which is normal because your hormones are going to be brought back down to their normal levels. Now, according to the research that I have done, if it does not alleviate itself within six to nine months, then that's when you do need to see a doctor and it could potentially be something else, okay? So, let's go ahead and get into the first remedy. These are all natural, they are all easy. I like to keep it easy and simple. So, the very first one is going to be black tea and we're going to be using it as a rinse. And the reason why I say black tea is because it actually has caffeine in it and caffeine blocks a hormone that is, um, that is called DHT and it actually goes from testosterone to DHT. And basically, DHT is a hormone that causes hair shedding or hair fall. So, I'm going to insert a video now to show you simply how to do this tea rinse. remedy that we're going to do is going to be green tea if you think black tea is too strong and I also find that green tea is more readily available in the grocery store than black tea so it's just going to be the exact same thing you're going to take two to four tea bags you're going to boil some water then you're going to steep the tea for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes then you're going to put it in an applicator bottle or a spray bottle I use an applicator bottle whenever I do the rinse um, you're going to shampoo your hair and then you're going to come out of the shower and you're going to apply the black tea or the green tea to your scalp. You're going to put on a shower cap or a plastic bag. I've done that many a times. You're going to let it sit anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. And then, like I said, we're going to keep this easy. So since we already have the black tea or the green tea rinse in our hair, we're going to leave it in there. We're going to use our conditioner. We're going to detangle, rinse, and then style as usual. Or, like I do it in one fell swoop, especially when I'm doing my deep conditioner, 
I'll just add it to my deep conditioner and then let it sit for 30, 45 minutes or whatever the instructions say. Detangle, rinse, and style as usual. Simple, okay? So those are the first two. Okay, so the next and third remedy is going to be an ACV rinse with the mother. ACV is no stranger to the natural hair community. It's used with everything. You see it in videos. People are doing videos on it all the time. They're doing different renditions. It's a staple in the natural hair community. But there is a couple of reasons for that. Number one, it helps strengthens the hair follicle. Number two, it actually cleanses the scalp. And then number three, it actually balances the pH of the scalp okay now when you're doing this it is going to be a rinse it is going to be two to one so you're going to do two parts water one part acv and then as your hair gets used to it you can up the acv and basically what you're going to do is the exact same thing with the tea you're going to put it in an applicator bottle or a spray bottle i was doing it with an applicator bottle that way when i was going through i was able to get it right to my roots you're going to take a plastic bag or a shower cap, let it sit for 30 minutes. And again, like I said, I want this to be easy. So you're going to shampoo, you're going to come out of the shower, then you're going to apply your ACV rinse, you're going to leave it in there, then you're going to put your conditioner, then you're gonna wash all of it out, detangle, and then you're going to style as usual. Now, I personally stopped using ACV because for whatever reason, the smell would actually stay in my hair. If you don't mind the smell, that's fine. Also, what I would suggest to use if you do want to try that because it does work, add like an essential oil. You can add rosemary, you can add peppermint, but I will probably say the reason why it actually stayed in my hair is because when I was using this particular rinse, I was working out. Like I was an avid workouter, whatever you want to call it. I was working out four to five days a week. And because the very first place that I sweat is my scalp, it would just actually open my scalp back up and then the smell of ACV would just be all in my scalp. Like you could actually pass by me and you would be able to smell it. So that is the reason why I stopped using ACV, but it does work though, okay? So number four is actually going to be fenugreek. And we're, so this one and the next one, the last two are going to be more so Indian Ayurveda and they work. But as far as fenugreek is concerned, we do not keep it in the house because we found out that David is adversely allergic to it. It's, it's quite bad. The last time that I did it, which this was almost a year and a half ago, the last time that I did that rinse or what I'm getting ready to show you, I actually had to rewash my hair. It was that bad. But fenugreek is, like I said, an Ayurvedic herb or a powder. You can get it in seed form or you can get it in um, powder form. It works because it helps strengthen the hair follicle among many other things. And this one is probably the most simplest one that you will do. You can take an applicator bottle or you can take a spray bottle, whichever one you want. You're going to put a tablespoon of seeds into that spray bottle or applicator bottle. Then you're gonna add water. You're gonna let it sit overnight for 24 hours and then you're just going to apply it to your hair. Very simple. So here again, shampoo your hair, come out of the shower, applicator bottle or spray bottle, add your fenugreek rinse, put a cap on, let it sit anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, get back in the shower, conditioner, detangle, rinse out, step out of the shower, style as usual. Very simple. And I absolutely loved the fenugreek. It truly did work. But like I said, David, his allergies when it comes to the fenugreek is horrible. The other note that I will say is that you can actually keep it in your hair if you choose to, but I will give you a word of caution. A lot of people say that it smells like syrup, like maple syrup. So if you're walking around with it and you don't have a problem smelling like syrup, then by all means, you can keep it in as well, okay? So the last one is going to be Bingraj powder. And this is a powder, again, it's Ayurveda, or it's an Ayurvedic powder. This is a powder that I have recently started using, I would probably say the latter part of 2020. And I am definitely putting this one in my arsenal, and I'm keeping it. The nickname for Bingraj powder, for Bingraj powder is King of Hair. I have noticed a huge, huge huge difference when it comes to my shedding um, and I actually kept like one of my little shedding balls um, so today is March 20th when this post is actually going to be March 21st but I just wanted to show you and I had not washed my hair for three weeks and I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like this is three weeks worth of quote-unquote shedding and I've been using the Bing powder Bing Raj powder 
religiously. This is not a lot of shedding for three weeks and not combing your hair, okay? A lot of people will say that once they actually start using the Bing Raj or actually the very first application, they notice instantly that it's a huge, huge difference as far as the shedding is concerned. So I have two recipes for you. The very first is going to be the Bing Raj powder and an actual aloe vera leaf, which can get very messy. So what you will do is you will take Bing Raj powder, you will take one aloe vera leaf, you will cut down the size of the thorns, you will throw all of that into your blender, blend it up, do not add water because you want it to be a mask. So again, shampoo, step out of the shower, add your mask, you're going to leave it on for a good 15, 30 minutes, put a shower cap on. Once you do that, you're going to go back into the shower. Now you are probably going to have to rinse this out before you actually do your conditioner. So rinse it out, put your conditioner, detangle, style as usual. Now, if you don't want to deal with the aloe vera plant because it is actually very messy, you can do the juice or you can do the gel. And it's going to be the exact same thing as far as quantity is concerned and as far as how much you should use. That's going to be, at, that's going to be based off on you. That's going to be based on how thick your hair is and how and I'm sorry how thick your hair is and how much hair you actually have but you want the consistency to be like a thick mask so you're going to take the Bing Raj powder then you're going to take the aloe vera juice or the gel and just mix it together that's all you're going to do mix it together again shampoo your hair come out apply the mask let's sit for 15 to 30 minutes with a shower cap or a plastic bag then you're going to rinse it out. Then you're going to apply your conditioner. Then you're going to detangle. And then you're going to come out of the shower and you're going to style as usual. Like I said, I wanted to keep all of these remedies simple, short, and sweet. Nothing complicated. You're not straining. You're not double boiling meth, nothing. It's just simple, put in, put out. You might have to do a little bit of straining depending on if you're comfortable you know, about having tea remnants in your hair but that's really it like i said the number one number one that i would use for me right now would definitely be the bing raj powder i have noticed such an enormous difference and that is the little hairball that i showed you that's that's what i used i used bing raj powder but i actually put it in my henna so i this was a henna week so i switched between henna and deep conditioning and if i'm doing a deep conditioning week i'll just put my bing raj powder in that as well and the job gets done but those are all the remedies that i have for you guys today i just want to remind you that i upload videos here every wednesday and sunday then of course you know right here i'll put my instagram handle thank you so much for watching you guys bye